हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सजाद एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्म एंड फॉर्म टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज टैबलेट ग्रेनुलेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज़ द ग्रेनुलेशन व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेनुलेशन एंड वाई वी नीड ग्रेनुलेशन वाई डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेनुलेशन आर यूज वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस what are the steps of granulation and we will discuss each type in detail so be with us watch the complete video and if you have not subscribed our channel first of all press the subscription button and press bell icon button so let's start with the granulation we will also discuss a myth regarding the types of granulation because most of the people are not mention the exact types of the granulation and we will try to clear the confusion regarding the types of granulation so let's start with the definition of granulation what is the granulation granulation is the process in which small powder particles are converted into large agglomerates or granules with the help of binder solution solvent or by the application of pressure mean granulation is the process in which we have fine particles as you know that our excipients are in the form of small particles so the process in which small powder particles are converted into large agglomerates with the help of binder solution solvent or by the application of pressure p r e w s u r e pressure so i hope now you are clear with the definition of granulation now let's start what are the types of granulation basically here is the myth most of the people when are describing the types of granulation they describe it into three types one is wet granulation other is dry granulation and third one is the direct compression mean wet granulation dry granulation and direct compression but according to my point of view this classification is wrong because there are not three types of granulation granulation is only of two types one is wet granulation and second one is dry granulation direct compression is not the type of granulation how we will i will justify my point because as we discuss the definition of granulation we have studied that granulation is the process in which we convert fine powders into large agglomerates with the help of binder solution solvent or by the application of pressure both these this definition completely implies to these first two steps in third step in third type direct compression basically the definition of granulation is not fulfilled because as you know that in direct compression we only sieve our powder particles mix them and take them directly for the compression so direct compression is not the type of granulation the exact concept is that when someone asked that what are the methods of tablet manufacturing mean when we talk about methods of tablet manufacturing then we can say that there are three methods for tablet manufacturing one is wet wet granulation second is dry granulation and third one is direct compression but if we are going to talk about the types of granulation then there are only two types of granulation one is the wet granulation and second one is the dry granulation so hope now you are clear the concept of types of granulation and definition of granulation now we will discuss that why we need granulation why we need granulation mean why we convert our powders into granules i will record a separate detailed video on this topic but for your concept i will elaborate in short term we need granulation because powder flow is not good 
दैट इज वाई वी कन्वर्ट पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूल्स बिकॉज ग्रेन्यूल फ्लो इज वेरी गुड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज डेट ड्यू टू फ्लो फ्लो प्रॉब्लम इशूज ड्यू टू फ्लो इशूज वी मे ऑब्जर्व वेट वेरिएशन इशूज इन आवर कंप्रेशन ऑपरेशन नेक्स्ट वन इज डेट पाउडर आर डस्टी सो लाइन लॉस एंड डस्टी इन्वायरमेंट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड वेन वी आर डीलिंग विद द ग्रेन्यूल सो वेन वी कन्वर्ट ग्रेन्यूल इन टू द वेन वी कन्वर्ट पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूल द डस्ट इज रिमूव द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज द कंटेंट यूनिफॉर्मिटी कंटेंट यूनिफॉर्मिटी और और आवर एसे इज मोर एक्यूरेट वेन वी कन्वर्ट आवर पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूल द नेक्स्ट वन इज डैट पाउडर्स कंपेटिबिलिटी सॉरी पाउडर कंप्रेसिबिलिटी इज लो एज कंपेयर टू द ग्रेन्यूल सो वी कन्वर्ट पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूल टू एनहांस द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी बिकॉज इफ वी ओनली कंप्रेस द सिंपल पाउडर दे टेंड टू कैप और लेमिनेट सो द नेक्स्ट वन इज दैट द पाउडर मे सेग्रीगेट मीन इन पाउडर सेग्रीगेशन में अकर बट वेन वी कन्वर्ट आवर पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूल द प्रॉब्लम और इशू ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन इज प्रिवेंटेड सो आई होप नीड ऑफ ग्रेवलेशन इज ऑल्सो क्लियर द नेक्स्ट वन इज डैट वाई वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेवलेशन मीन वाई वी हैव वेट ग्रेवलेशन एंड वाई वी हैव ड्राई ग्रेवलेशन वाई टू टाइप्स सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज डैट वेट ग्रेवलेशन एंड ड्राई ग्रेवलेशन आर स्पेसिफिक फॉर प्रोडक्ट नेचर मीन वेट ग्रेवलेशन मैथड इज यूज फॉर दोज प्रोडक्ट विच आर नॉट डिग्रेडिड बाय द मॉइस्चर एंड विच आर नॉट डिग्रेडिड बाय द हीट ड्राई ग्रेवलेशन मैथड इज यूज फॉर दोज प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर मॉइस्चर सेंसिटिव मॉइस्चर सेंसिटिव एंड हीट सेंसिटिव मीन विच प्रोडक्ट्स आर डिग्रेडिड बाय द मॉइस्चर एंड हीट दोज प्रोडक्ट्स आर मैनुफैक्चर्ड बाय द ड्राई ग्रेवलेशन ना आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्रेवलेशन टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेवलेशन वाई वी यूज टू टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेवलेशन एंड वाई वी नीड ग्रेवलेशन सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज द we will discuss in details the steps of wet granulation and steps of dry granulation so what is wet granulation first of all we will see the definition of wet granulation wet granulation is defined as the process in which we convert our fine powder particles into large agglomerates or granules with the help of binder solution and solvent mean in wet granulation we use binder solution or solvent and convert our powder particle into granules this process is known as wet granulation as the na name indicates wet mean we are adding some wetting agents like or granulating agents like water or solvent so now we will discuss the steps of wet granulation the steps of wet granulation are very important and these are also confusing because these are there is a difficulty to remember the name of these steps i will try to elaborate these steps in a simple way so that you can easily remember these steps so sorry let's discuss the steps of wet granulation steps of wet granulation are very important for vivas and paper point of view sorry steps of wet granulation so the first step of wet granulation is weighing mean weighing is the first step of wet granulation second step is the sieving third step is the pre mixing and fourth step is the kneading mean fourth step of wet granulation is kneading fifth step of wet granulation is the wet sieving and sixth step of the wet granulation is the 
drying one of the very important step of wet granulation and seventh step of wet granulation is dry sieving and last step of wet granulation is final mixing or final blending so all these are the steps of wet granulation if you want we will now discuss the method of wet granulation mean how we prepare granules by using wet granulation if you want to learn each step in detail i have a link of steps of wet granulation in the description box you can watch all videos i have separately recorded a video on each step so you can learn more by watching each video step so now we will discuss the method of granulation wet granulation mean how granules are prepared in wet granulation method first of all we weigh our excipients and this step is known as weighing after weighing the excipients we excipients are in the form of powder so after weighing the excipients we sieve our powders or excipients to remove any foreign particles or to large to break the large lumps so that in pre mixing step we can get a uniform mixing the next step is the pre mixing in pre mixing step we mix the excipients or powders according to our formulation which we want to convert into granules mean in granulation step we will discuss later on all the excipients or powders are not used in the granulation step we use some excipients after drying like lubricants glidants and some flavorants colorants these excipients are usually used after the drying process colorants can also be used during the kneading step but most of the colors are used after drying process so pre mixing step we use only those excipients which we want to convert into granules the selection of excipients depend upon our formulation we can take diluents we can take diluents plus disintegrants plus api in the pre mixing step and we can only convert our api alone into granules and later on other excipients can be added you can watch our pre mixing and kneading video for its complete understanding so after pre mixing step we simply in pre mixing step we simply add our sieved material into a mixer or granulator like ribbon mixer or in rapid mixer granulator and mix them for defined period of time as mentioned in the bmr after pre mixing step the next step is the kneading kneading is the most important step in kneading step we add our solvent or binder solution into the pre mixed powders and our powders are converted into wet mass this step is usually performed in low shear mixer like ribbon mixer or plow mixer and this can also be performed into the high shear mixers like rapid mixing granulator the link of rapid mixing granulator video is given in the description so in the kneading step we convert our fine powders into wet mass by the addition of solvent or binder solution the next step after kneading is the wet sieving mean our powders are converted into the large wet mass so this wet mass is passed through a wet mill or wet sieve to reduce the particle size so after wet sieving the next step is the drying in the drying step the wet sieve material is dried using any suitable dryer like dry dryer or fluidized bed dryer the video of fluidized bed dryer link is also given in description you can watch complete working and components of the fluid bed dryer the link is given in description so when our wet mass is dried the next step in next step we sieve the dried mass to obtain the uniform size granules so for dry sieving step we use oscillating granulator or co mill so that our dried mass is reduced to the particle size which is required 
in the next step whenever granules are dried and sieved we only mix in a blender with the other required excipients like disintegrants colorants flavorants depending upon the formulation so after the final mixing step our granulation process is completed and our fine powders are completely converted into the granules in granulation process we also have the fine powders the ratio is usually 70 30 means 70 percent granules and 30 percent powders or 80 20 why we need fine powders during the granulation process we will record a separate video because this will help usually in the compression process to fill the void spaces so i hope you are now familiar with the wet granulation process how powders are converted into granules by using wet granulation method so for a brief overview i repeat in a few minutes like first of all we weigh our excipients we sieve them we make pre-mix them and then we add binder solution or uh, solvent to convert powders into granules to form a wet mass then with wet this wet mass is sieved and after sieving it is dried and after drying it is again sieved and at the end it is finally mixed with the remaining excipients to obtain uniform blend and our wet granulation process is completed we will also discuss equipments used for wet granulation and dry granulation at the end of this video so watch the complete video now the next type is dry granulation mean what is the dry granulation first one is first we will discuss its definition what is dry granulation dry granulation is the process in which we convert fine powder particles into granules by the application of pressure here is the main difference in wet granulation we use binder solution or solvent mean we wet our powders but in dry granulation as we discussed our products are moisture sensitive and heat sensitive so we cannot wet our product so we use pressure to convert powders into granules for application of pressure two methods are used one is slugging and other is roller compactor or chillsonator we will discuss it in the later of this video so now now we will discuss the steps of dry granulation so the steps of dry granulation steps of dry granulation are also very important so same like wet granulation first step is the weighing second step is the sieving third step is pre-mixing fourth step is different from the wet granulation here it was kneading but in direct compression our fourth step is the slugging or roller compaction and the fifth step is the screening or sieving of the slugs and sixth step is the final blending so the steps of dry granulation are different at some points from the wet granulation and here is the main difference one main point is that dry granulation is also known as double granulation method double compression method why it is called double compression method because in slugging method we compress our powders to form the slugs once and then after final blending the blend is delivered to the compression for main compression process so in this method we use compression for two times and it is known as double compression method or double double compression granulation method so we will discuss now how granules are converted or how granules are manufactured by using dry granulation method in dry granulation first of all we weigh our excipients then we sieve our excipients after sieving we pre-mix our excipients same as we discussed in wet granulation method and after 
प्री मिक्सिंग द मेन डिफरेंस स्टेप इज द स्लगिंग मैथड और रोलर कंपेक्शन मैथड वट इज द स्लगिंग मेन एट दिस पॉइंट वी कन्वर्ट आवर पाउडर इन टू गैन यूज बाई यूजिंग एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रेशर वट इज स्लगिंग स्लगिंग इज द प्रोसेस इन विच वी यूज कंप्रेशन मशीन टू फॉर्म लार्ज साइज टेबलेट्स यूजली ऑफ वन इंच डायमीटर मेन दीज आर आवर फाइन पाउडर्स एंड वी कन्वर्ट लार्ज टेबलेट्स बाई यूजिंग कंप्रेशन मशीन एंड दीज लार्ज स्लग्स आर नेक्स्ट ब्रेक डाउन और स्क्रीन और सीव्ड बाई यूजिंग ओसिलेटिंग ग्रेनोलेटर और एनी क्रशर टू ऑप्टेन द डिजायर्ड साइज ऑफ द ग्रेन्यूल्स सो दिस इज द स्लगिंग एंड वट इज द रोलर कंपैक्टर रोलर कंपैक्टर इज द डिवाइस इन विच यूजली टू व्हील आर अटैच लाइक वन व्हील इज हेयर वन व्हील इज हेयर हेयर वी हैव अ हापर वी एड पाउडर हाप इन द हापर एंड पाउडर पास थ्रू दीज टू व्हील्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू व्हील्स इज एडजस्टेबल मीन एज द व्हील्स कम क्लोज टू इच अदर मोर प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड एंड एज दे गो अपार्ट लेस प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड सो वैन द पाउडर पास थ्रू दीज व्हील्स एंड प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड आवर पाउडर आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू थिन शीट्स ऑफ द पाउडर and these thin sheets are later on screened or sieved by using the oscillating granulator to obtain the granules because we have installed a mesh or sieve in the crusher or granulator one equipment one when sorry a uh, equipment used used also known as chilsonator in chilsonator we have here installed a co mill or crusher which breaks the powder sheets when these are fall over the crusher so chilsonator or roller compactors are also used to convert our fine powders into paper sheets and later on these paper sheets are screened to obtain the granules after that in the final blending step we add our remaining excipients like disintegrants or flavorants depending upon the formulation and our powders are converted into granules by using dry granulation method one of the main difference to remember between wet and dry granulation is at the step 4 here we have a kneading step where we add solvent or binder solution and here we have slugging or roller compaction where we convert our powders into granules by using application of pressure here we use solvent which give bindings to the powders and here we have pressure which convert our fine powders into slugs or paper sheets and later on these are broken down using the crusher or oscillating granulator to desired size of the granules so this was complete about the types of granulation i hope now you are familiar with the types of granulation what is wet granulation and what is dry granulation now if anybody ask about the methods of tablet manufacturing then as we discussed earlier three methods are used wet granulation dry granulation and direct compression so we will also going to discuss what is direct compression what is direct compression method direct compression method is defined as the process in which we use fine powder particles directly for the compressions mean direct compression is the method in which we simply sieve away our excipients sieve our excipients and mix all our excipients and directly take to the compression without any modification mean we do not apply any pressure or do not use any binder solution or solvent and these excipients are simply mixed and remain in a uniform content and they take them directly for the compression method compression process so this process is known as direct compression so i hope now you are familiar with the dry granulation wet granulation and the direct compression method these are the method which are used for 
टैबलेट मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेवलेशन आर टू वेट ग्रेवलेशन एंड ड्राई ग्रेवलेशन सो सिंपली वी विल नाउ डिस्कस द इक्विपमेंट यूज फॉर वेट ग्रेवलेशन फॉर वेट ग्रेवलेशन फॉर सीविंग पर्पज वी यूज वाइब्रो सिफ्टर और मैनुअल सीव्स आर यूज फॉर प्री मिक्सिंग वी कैन यूज एनी मिक्सर डबल कॉर्न ब्लैंडर और लो शेयर मिक्सर लाइक रिबन मिक्सर एंड हाई शेयर मिक्सर लाइक रैपिड मिक्सिंग ग्रेवलेटर बट फॉर ग्रेवलेशन वी ओनली यूज रिबन मिक्सर एंड रैपिड मिक्सिंग ग्रेवलेटर और प्लो मिक्सर मीन इन डबल कॉर्न ब्लैंडर वी डू नॉट वेट अवर ग्रेन्यूज दीज आर ओनली यूज फॉर द प्री मिक्सिंग स्टेप द नेक्स्ट इज वेट सेविंग इन वेट सेविंग वेट मिल इज यूज वेट ग्रेवलेटर इज यूज और वेट मैनुअल सीव्स आर आल्सो यूज मीन मैनुअल सीव्स ऑफ सिक्स नंबर और एट नंबर आर यूज फॉर द वेट सेविंग द फॉर नेक्स्ट स्टेप ड्राइंग पर्पज फॉर ड्राइंग वी यू मे यूज ट्रे ड्रायर और फ्लूडाइज बेट ड्रायर फॉर द सीविंग और ड्राई सीविंग स्टेप वी यूज ऑसिलेटिंग ग्रेवलेटर क्रशर फिट्स मिल और like the co-mill in the final blending step we use double cone mixer or bin blender you can use any type of blender so these are the equipments which we use in the wet granulation equipments used for dry granulation are same like for sieving we use vibro sifter or manual sieves for pre mixing we use double cone blender we do not use it in rapid mixing granulator because we only have to mix our excipients and for the next step for slugging we use compression machine and for roller compaction we use roller compactor or chilsonator and for the screening or crushing we use oscillating granulator crusher or fits mill or co mill and in the final mixing we use double cone blender or bin blender for direct compression method we use only vibro sifter for sieving or manual sieve and for the final mixing we use any type of blender like double cone blender or bin blender so i hope now you are completely aware and familiar with the granulation process and types of granulation and we also discussed methods of table manufacturing if you have any confusion do mention in the comment box if you like the video share it to other and subscribe our channel and if you want to get any specific topic video so comment the topic name in the video I will try to record the video for you so till the next video allah hafiz